Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Punzo and if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about fibromyalgia. So fibromyalgia. So first question. So you might ask, what is fibromyalgia? So fibromyalgia is a disorder characterized by widespread muscular skeletal pain accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory, and mood issues. That's basically what fibromyalgia is. How fibromyalgia has affected me. So and how I experience my pain. So my pain is sensitivity in my arms. And then it can also radiate through down through my to my fingers. Um, I have um, upper back pain and lower back pain. I have neck pain and shoulder pain. Um, I have a hip a hip pain and sometimes knee pain. Also causes pain through one of my ankles. Um, and yeah, and that's it. Uh, fatigue, insomnia, um, and just feeling down most of the time. Yeah, that's how it affects fibromyalgia. So I found my diagnostics last year in 2017, uh, somewhere in somewhere I think about August September. That's when I found out what I had. I went to the doctors, um, told him what was happening with me, and then he said it might be fibromyalgia. And then he did run some tests, also did some um, history review on me, and then uh, told me that I had fibromyalgia. When did it start affecting me? It started affecting me in 2014, where to the point where I couldn't really. It, that was the most painful time that I had. I might have had it before, but that was the time that it actually the flare ups were really bad. It was the time where my whole back, my my back pain just got really bad, and it lasted for about a month or two of me having really bad back pain. I started getting sensitivity to my arms at that time, where uh, before if you hit me on my shoulders or oh, my arms, it was fine, but after that it kind of got really bad. So that is when I started experiencing the fibromyalgia. Now, the year after that is when it got worse, the point where I couldn't really use my, I got really tired, my arms got really tired fast uh when i was trying to write something it actually i needed to take a break every now and again if i was writing or if i had my hand up i can't really put my hands up for too long without it getting tired so it's something where i have to gauge um so how it has affected my life so so it has affected my life in the sense of i have to gauge myself when i'm doing any activity now a lot of people don't actually understand uh, and they don't get it when if i'm doing something and i'm pacing myself when it comes to doing physical activity or doing anything like that because um it's, it's a silent pain that no one can see that you're suffering unless they're going through it themselves so no one will ever really understand what you're actually going through but it's something where if i'm doing activities i really have to gauge so that i'm not overly too tired because I remember even when I was cleaning up at my at my home and I was doing some cleaning and I decided like I was gonna clean this, I was gonna wash this, I was gonna do this, which was a large area, it was not something small. It took me about two to three days for my body to feel, to fully come back to me where I didn't feel I was still doing some stuff but I, 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 it felt like I was drained. I had zero energy within me. I had like nothing. It just felt like Anytime getting up to do anything, my mood was down. Uh, I was so tired. My body was in pain, and I just didn't have the motivation to do anything. It just, it was just, it was torture. And this is something that happened recently. But well, still, I found that, and I still overdid it, and I pushed myself a little too much. Because there was a time I was like, okay, I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Which is one thing about fibro that they keep telling you: don't overdo stuff on the time that you're feeling good, because it's gonna affect you. The bad time is gonna be longer than one so that's how it has affected my life um 
but how it affected my schooling. So with my schooling, it, it, it is, I was doing part-time, so it didn't really affect it that much, which I'm so thankful for that is because I was doing part-time. I was coming in on a Monday and on a Wednesday. So even if I was standing for, even if I was standing for four hours on a Monday and then standing for another four hours or five hours on a Wednesday, I had the Tuesday to, to, um, to recuperate. And then I had the long weekend. All I had to do was just study on doing assignments. And then I had that whole entire time to be at least gathering up my strength like my strength again to go do more activities so at least with that it didn't actually affect me a lot now it didn't affect me with work that was when it was probably the most painful because um, i loved working it was amazing it's great it's it's wonderful it just gives you joy it, it was it was nice i was working whether or not i was getting a salary doesn't matter it was just the uh, you had a purpose and you were doing something but the problem is no matter i wanted to push myself to do to, to, to work maybe for the whole week but my body just would not allow me to do it my um Besides fibromyalgia, I was also I also suffered from um, iron deficiency. So iron deficiency already takes your energy away. Fibromyalgia also takes my energy away. So I have to manage these two things so that I can actually cope in a in a work environment. So when I was, when I was working. What was mostly happening is when I first started, I thought I was going to be able to work the whole week. I worked two days and my body just gave up on me. It just, it, it was not working out for me. So what ended up happening was I decided to like separate my days out from Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Then at least I gave myself a day in between so that I could actually gather my, my strength back and then go back to work and give it my all. So besides that, uh, towards the end, I, I don't know what happened, but my my wrist started getting really painful. Uh, where it's nothing was broken or nothing like that. It was still the fibromyalgia just affecting my joints, and this time it was just affecting my my wrist. So I got an arm bracelet that when I was working, it kind of made working very difficult, but I still pulled through, and I still just wore a glove on top of my arm brace, and then I just worked. So all it all it did was like me I, I couldn't really move my um my wrist without getting pain so i just wore the embrace that i could stop moving in so much and that really did help and i also got an ankle brace as well because it was also affecting one of my ankles when i was moving so that can also help me so that i could lessen the movement i still have all of those things which do help a lot so if you do have fibromyalgia or any joint pain and you buy those things they do help a lot um but also don't forget to go ask your doctor about all of the things that was just something that worked for me um so that's how it affected me when it came to work now, i think how else it really affects it would can it be treated is it curable is it something that's ever gonna end um it's a lifelong ailment disorder it's not something that can be cured they have not found a cure it's still something that they're still studying that they have not really found um they have not found They've not really, they don't even know really what causes it, what causes the fibromyalgia. They don't know how to cure it. They don't have anything like that. Um, it does, it affects more women than it does affect men, but it still affects both genders, but it does affect more women than men. Um, apparently I'm that part of that number, which I wish I was not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that's how that affects me. Uh, they have not found a cure for it so the only thing that they can do is help you manage pain uh the other thing that they did say you should do which probably this is the point where i'm looking at and maybe it's just something that i should actually try to do is exercising but at the same time i cannot do the normal exercises because i remember when i was doing some exercises with my mom and that would involve my arms it literally like there was a time i was going with no pain in my arms and then after i did the exercises like a day or two my arms started getting painful instead of getting it was so bad but there are exercises that i can do that can help me um that can help me uh, lose the weight so that i can manage maybe my fibromyalgia will be a little bit more manageable than what it is right now. um and by the way fibromyalgia can be gotten by people who are healthy uh small and all of that um i'm not gonna say that my weight doesn't also add on maybe to the pain i don't know it might uh they haven't really found out a lot of information about it so right now it's a it's a pain that's silent and um fibromyalgia meat and how people take it 
is because it's something that people cannot see on the outside and they cannot see my pain on the outside nor do they know when i'm going through the pain that i'm going through um people kind of ask you sometimes that you're making it up and that whatever you're saying it's untrue and whatever you're saying you make it in your head it, it might be in my head i don't know but there's many theories that it's an in chemical imbalance in your head uh, some people are saying it's the stress that causes all of it and it's that the pain receptors in your in your body are not working properly and pain is being interpreted differently in my pain in my head than it would be on a on, a, on another person's um on another person's body and it is true unless you go through it you will never understand what fibromyalgia is you will never understand the pain that i'm going through you will never understand if i'm working with you it looks like nothing is wrong with me there's nothing going on with me that you don't see a problem all you see is that you're the same person that you were before so i don't know what you're talking about with the same you have you have this thing that's going on but my the thing is there is something going on with me um I am going through pain. I'm not gonna tell you every single time I'm feeling pain or I'm feeling super tired where I don't have any energy to do anything. I'm not gonna be always doing that. But I am going through the pain. And since people cannot really see the pain you're going through, it's almost as if you're not going through the pain at all. It's as if you're not you're not actually experiencing anything. It's as if like you're making everything up. Uh, I don't know whether it's for attention. I don't know why I want this type of pain and say, oh, it's because of attention. Because pain is brought you attention. It, it's, it's not because of that. It's not because I don't want to do stuff. It's not all of that. It's it's literally, if I'm doing stuff, I will, I really would love to do everything. The only thing I have to do is just pace myself with everything. It's, it's also trying to find people that understand that there is, if you're trying to do something and you're dealing with it, I will not be doing it at the speed that you're doing it. I will not be going as hard as you are, but I will still be going very hard to my abilities, to the best of my abilities. But it will probably not be the same as you. And that is not me copying out of like, oh, yeah, yeah, and all of that. It's literally because I have to pace myself or else I'm going to regret it for the next two days or three. While you are, you, you have recovered and you're doing well and you're okay. For me it's gonna take me a while even if it's not just the pain it's also the fatigue where i can't do anything where like literally my body is just keeping out of me i will still be able to do small tasks and stuff like that but it's gonna be doing it at the very pain it's gonna be really painful for me to do it so if it's something that you can do as people and if something somebody's telling you that they're suffering from something don't dismiss it find out about it and maybe be more sympathetic to towards whatever the person is going through because Nobody wants this in their life. Nobody goes like, oh yeah, I want to have chronic pain for the rest of my life. I don't like chronic pain. And I can't, I don't even want to take medication for such things. I'd rather find a better way of dealing with it. Nobody ever says, no, yeah, well, now. I didn't have this much amount of pain when I was growing up. That right now, it's a day, it's like a daily bird, and the days where I don't get the pain, which for me, it's not very often. It, 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 it's, it's, not, it's, and fatigue, it, it, it affects me a lot. I try to brush it off as if it's not happening, but if I can clearly see that my body is not doing well, I, I I slept, but I still feel like I did not sleep. I'm so tired, even though I have rested. So I just say it, it's invincible, but understand. And I know I'm probably never gonna have. Um, I can force myself when it comes to a waking, waking thing, but I know I'll never have like a working is gonna be that comfortable for me where where it isn't like I can work for too many hours and I can still be okay. That's probably maybe for a month or two that's gonna do well and I'm gonna be okay. But after that I'm probably just gonna be hitting myself. So I guess that's that about fibromyalgia. Guys if you have experienced any of the pain that I've said go to your doctor and find out if it's something um if it's something don't be like me where in the beginning i never went to a doctor at all go 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 find out go find out if the pain that you're feeling is just pain your body usually your body is trying to tell you something now for me the other pain that i also get is also like the jaw my there's times where even when i'm eating i sometimes i just stop eating or just not eat sometimes at all because like my jaw gets to the point where it's so painful to move it up and down or anything or it's just ready to 
uh, I used to also get a twitch on one of the eyes and then I used to get headaches a lot I used to like suffer through like but now like it's been amazing like I used to travel a little bit and I have to travel with like I know anywhere I go for now it's like I always have to have like painkillers in my, in my bag because I might get a headache at any time and it doesn't go away with sleeping if you feel like you're getting any of these things go check with your doctor and go find out if there's anything wrong um yeah that's it for me guys uh thanks for watching i know this was long but i thank you so much for watching and if you like this story time give it a thumbs up also tell me in the comments down below also tell me what other stuff you would love to see from my channel and guys thank you so much for the support it's been wonderful and Please keep it going and thank you. That's it for me guys this week. Um till next time. Bye.